<laughs> What's up, boils and cools? Today, we are at the allegedly most haunted place, South Carolina. We are at Cry Baby Bridge. Let's check it out. Is this the old room? I don't know if you can access this anymore. Oh, I'm nervous. <sighs> okay, I start looking into these stories and I get attached to stuff. <sighs> and then I get here and I get nauseous. There's the road across the way and this is the old bridge. 192 feet long and 14 feet wide. Oh, I'm nauseous. This bridge has moved several times. It's like me. Look. Hi, baby bridge. That's it. it. Feels weird under my feet. Yeah? Why? I don't know. You can feel things, yeah? This bridge is no longer active. That's the current one you drive on. And there isn't any parking. <laughs> this is the old road. You cannot drive on it. But legend has it when it's really, really dark at night and there's a crescent moon in the sky. You park your car in the middle of the bridge, the middle of the bridge, put your keys on the hood and then say, where's the baby? You'll hear a baby cry and you may even hear a lady crying out for her baby and then see her floating amongst the water. But clearly you cannot drive on this bridge anymore because that's the current one. make this legend come true even though we can't do what it asks us to maybe we need a little toy car and an offering like a piece of candy <laughs> for the baby you say why would you hear a baby cry here if you're not familiar with crybaby bridge in Anderson South Carolina this bridge has had a lot of casualties but it all started in Virginia, where this bridge was built in 1919. And the casualties began there as a worker fell to his death. This bridge was then moved to Charleston, South Carolina. I never found the date of when that actually happened. But a lot of people there in Charleston were just spooked by this place, spooked by this bridge, and would never cross it for some reason, legends told. Then in 1952, it was moved right here to Anderson, South Carolina. And this is the old road that you saw us dig our way through the foliage to get to. Because check it out, this bridge is no longer in use. It has lots of decoration and foliage in it. The reason people hear a baby cry when they're on this bridge 
The reason people say this is the most haunted location, because in 1954, a young lady had a baby. Two days later, her mother died. And her husband, at the time, was actually in the military. And then she found out, I'm not sure, maybe like a week or so later, that he died. So, because of all the stress she was dealing with, she lost her mind, came to this bridge, threw the baby off the bridge, and then a week or so later was found at her home, hung, where she killed herself. So that's why legend has it that if you come to this bridge late at night, park your car, put your keys on the hood and say, where's the baby? Within a minute, you can hear a baby cry and even possibly see the mother floating along the water looking for her baby. As you can see, it is daytime. So guys, I think we might go on a toy hunt. If you haven't seen that video, check it out in the description below. And then, if we are brave enough, we are going to come back here in the darkness. And we can't park the car on the bridge, but we might try an offering and see if that works and see if we can find the baby. Well, guys, if you are seeing this clip, we did not come back. <laughs> so we wanted to say thanks for hanging out with us. I hope you enjoyed this spooky adventure. And if you guys enjoyed this adventure, check out this one right here. Yeah. Probably enjoy that one as well. And as always, thank you for taking a little bit of your time to watch a little bit of our lives. And until next time, bulls and ghouls. Onward, onward and, and upward. upward. Okay, if we really didn't come back and you're seeing this, we will definitely come back as soon as we feel brave enough because I'm scared. I get all the heebie-jeebies. I feel you. Bye, baby.